Hi everybody, it's Martin the Flicking Feathers again today. Tying a, another installment in the Beginners Fly Tying series. This is just a simple beetle. Really easy, really quick. Only needs a couple of materials. And it's very effective. So, in the vise, I've got a size 13. TM Co 103BL and I'm just going to run on some black thread here, this is Vivus 10 knot. Trim away the waist. I'm going to stop just at the start of the bend so sort of in line with where the barb would be if this was a barbed hook. And then I've got a strip of black foam that I've cut it's about a mil and a half, two mil square obviously you would need to change the size depending on the size of beetle you're tying I'm going to run my thread back up to about the two thirds position so there's a third a third clear and I'll just catch in the foam and take it back Tidy everything up. And then for the body I'm using um, Semperfly Straggle String. It's just a short straggle type material. And this is black UV. It's really nice for the beetle patterns. And then I'm just going to wind this forward. So I make the help the help the fibers to stick out a wee bit. And just palm that and wind it up the body until you come to the end of the foam. Turn just in front of that. Cross your thread, a couple of turns will hold it. I've already waxed this thread so it's, it's really grippy. And then just to um just to help bring out some of these fibers I'll just rub it with a bit of velcro. Just to just to help free any of the trapped straggle fibres because they make it nice and leggy. Then I'll just bring the foam forward, pull it kind of half tight until you get roughly the shape that you like. And then catch it in right in front of the where you've tied the straggle string off. And then in touching turns, trap it down forward. And keep going all the way to the eye. Don't worry if it twists a wee bit, you can sort of force it to, to sit as you like. And bring your thread back. Create a small, so then create a head by sort of pulling the foam back and then push it forward slightly so you get a, a round hump so just extending slightly above the eye of the hook and then tie that off two or three turns of thread nice and tight and then come in Pull this foam quite tight, you can see I'm actually sort of, and then cut it in this direction. Right. Don't cut across or you'll end up with an uneven tag if you pull it straight up and have your scissor blades running parallel to the shank of the hook. And then just 
should I put a quake tape? That will give you an age where you need. And, uh, and that's basically it. You could add a tag of fo coloured foam here um, as a sighter. I know some people like to do that. I never do. I, I don't really find them very. I find them quite easy to see. For some reason, I think the black spot's easier to see actually than a coloured one. So the last thing is just a quick, quick whip finish. And yes, what finish you can see the tightens it tightens up a wee bit more. And that's it, that is the straggle string beaker. Nice and leggy, it saves you adding I mean you could tie it with peacock hell and then add some fibres for legs, but the straggle string gets it done in one go. And then just to lock everything off. Put a head cement, don't want if you flood your eye. I, I even some like to rub it along the bottom here just to toughen everything up. If you've, as I have there, I've flooded the eye, just clear it. Just take away any excess, and then you can grab a wee bit of wire or something off your desk if I could find some. There we go. Just uh, clear that. And there you have it. A very simple but effective beetle pattern. Very easy to tie. Great for beginners. Well worth a place in the ear box. Both in rivers and still waters. Um, so, I hope that was useful. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share the videos. Thanks a lot. Tight lines.